Yo, Jenny Gang, what it do? So we are back for another Jenny Gang YouTube production. Before I get started, pound the like button, turn on post notifications, and subscribe to the channel. I want y'all to get my videos right when they come out. So turn on post notifications for everything. Shorts, regular videos, anything. Lives, because we're going to do more of those. So... Here we go, back in my, the neck of my woods. <laughs> Two strippers, because I don't know what they identify themselves as, entertainers, um, were robbed at gunpoint, dancing during BET weekend in LA, okay? So, the girls walk up. I'm not sure if they're waiting at their hotel door is what it looks like to me. They're waiting to go in somewhere one girl has a black bag in her hand and a pink suitcase. And the other girl just has like a suitcase and a pocketbook on her arm. Two guys, both already with straps out, walk up to them. Now, I must say, this is the most pitiful robbery I have ever seen. It's, it's so confusing. So, the girl who has the pink suitcase, and I believe her name is Ace, and we'll, we'll get to that later she's moving slow i think i seen somewhere where it says that she thought it was like some sort of joke okay and then the other girl she kind of like moves very slowly as well they're both confused they're both startled now i'm not about to do the whole somebody set it up thing right because no, nobody knows that. And if that happened, I'm pretty sure it'll come out. What I am going to do is just tell y'all what I, what I feel like I see. It, like I said, this is the most ridiculous robbery ever. The dude looked goofy as hell <laughs> walking up with the gun. Even if you look goofy with a strap, then you just goofy. There's nothing that can be done for you, okay? Even with these 10 racks that you got from these girls. The one in the blonde hair, who I believe is Ace, Honestly, her response looks pretty genuine for somebody who's like, bro, what you mean you playing? The other girl in the green, did I say blue at first, y'all? I'm sorry. The other girl in the green, I don't know. Her reaction, you know, after the dudes walk off is just a little weird. They yanked her a little bit. But I do feel like their, their response was the correct response. And why do I say that even though things look off? Because a lot of times when somebody want to take something for you as, from you, especially when it's money, your first reaction is to fight back. PNB Rock doing the interview before he got, you know, unalive, talking about how he fights back and how people don't want it and all of this. That is very stupid to do. And you never want to give... You, you never want to put nothing over your life, basically. Now, 10 racks is a lot to get over a weekend. I don't care where you're at. But you can actually make 10 racks again. Had this goofy gunman, you know what I'm saying, taken their lives, then they wouldn't have had any other opportunity to do anything else because there wouldn't have been any life. So... Now, the girls are still entertaining. Like I said, some people are saying that the one in the green set it up because the other one looked genuinely scared and stuff like this. And do I want to say this? Okay, let me say it. Y'all know the dance world and all of these worlds, they're really small, right? I'm in South Carolina. I move about to certain cities. I never danced in LA. I went for a pole class and um, went to Circus du Lay in Vegas while I was there. So I wasn't there for work. And I don't know these girls from a can of paint. But I know some people who dance up north and hit me and said, you need to do a story on this. But one of them people in that video has somewhat of a reputation for setting other girls up that she works with. So the way that I'm going to keep this not messy, I'm not about to tell y'all which girl they said that it was, 
But basically they said that there was a situation back in the day where someone was dancing with her. The person who was dancing with her left and she was robbed. And the girl felt like just based on energy and how it happened and the fact that she had left, she felt like old girl who stayed back had called somebody and set her up. And like I said, this is one of the girls in this video who just was robbed at, during the BT Awards. So I said, okay, even though I don't know if that's true or not, that's alleged. I say where it's smoke, there's usually fire. But what if the girl was wrong? What if, you know what I'm saying, somebody just robbed her that night and they just robbed her. They just was watching her moves because that's obviously what happened in this video. But if it's true, then I would say karma has come back to or the chickens have come back to roast or whatever. Only time will tell. People are surprisingly sympathetic to this because, like I said, I, I'm reading the comments. I'm actually very proud of y'all on Instagram. Y'all are not down and y'all not like, oh, they dances, they don't deserve it. Y'all talking really nice in these comments. I, I want to let America and whoever else is in these, the neighborhood talk comments. I appreciate, I can appreciate how nice y'all are talking to the dancers and how how much y'all are coming down on these two goofballs that did this it's nice to finally get some sort of you know redemption or whatever but i don't know what i feel like happened all i i what i hope is that these ladies will bounce back they're going to be in texas i believe sometime this weekend or what have you i hope they make triple that as long as they not nobody set nobody up I really hope the best for them and for the other dancers or anybody who is doing, you know, your hustle, anything. You you really can get robbed at Walmart. You can, these old ladies are going to the ATM and getting robbed for $50 and $60. You just got to be careful. You got to watch your surroundings. You might got to take a little extra trip home or whatever. Like, I love, it's I, I love and hate how intermittent my schedule is. I really do. Okay? But... You got to keep folks guessing and you also got to keep that thing somewhere close because I'm not going to lie to y'all. These two right here would have been me and they make her as soon as they walked up. Ain't no such thing as a joke or anything. Whenever I meet people and they too close to my house, right? Meaning like they might see me. Oh my God, Jenny, you, you, this is where you live. I get uncomfortable, right? Because I don't ever want to have to put a I don't ever want to have to send nobody on their way. But that happened to me one time, right? I'm coming out of my door. A, a Jenny gang, we're going to call him gang. He's coming out of a door with somebody else. He's like, oh my God, Jenny. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm speaking, but I ain't speaking how I was speaking in public. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's me, but you know, go on. So made me a little uncomfortable, but he was cool. He was just, you know, being an admirer. So why one night when I worked locally, I came home from work. It's five o'clock in the morning. This same person that I'm talking about who was so ready. Oh my God, Jenny Gang, whatever. He came to my window at after four o'clock in the morning when I'm getting home trying to have a conversation with me. Let's just say the creator was with him that night because... I wasn't prepared, but had I had my ish, I wouldn't have asked any questions or tried to figure out. He didn't understand why he got cussed out or whatever. And, you know, and I didn't go on to tell him like, but you can't even play like that. I don't even care what you wanted at this hour. I just got off. My mind is already, you know, my mind thinks how it's supposed to think. Not paranoid, but I'm always moving aware. But when I look up and I see this dude in my window, y'all. Uh, I, I actually was happy I didn't have the thing since he wasn't a real threat. But you, y'all, you just got to be careful. But anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think about the situation. Let me know if you've seen the video. If you feel like somebody moving funny, or if you feel like you know they genuinely got raw. I feel like it's genuine, but only time will tell the truth. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you will never miss my uploads.